So for this video, I will be showing you guys how to convert your PSP ISOs into CSOs, or if you want to play them on your PS Vita and you have a CSO, I will show you guys how to convert it into an ISO. So this is the software we will use. This is called the PSP ISO compressor. It's very useful. It basically changes the format of all PSP ISOs, even into weird formats like JSO or um, DAX. But yeah, it's pretty cool. The main ones we need are CSO and ISO. But if you want to use them on your PS Vita, like my recent video where you can play PSP games on your PS Vita, you will definitely want them in the ISO format. Now the difference between ISO and CSO, CSOs are actually compressed. If we have a look at the size on this one, it's 883 megabytes. So if we have a look at the size on this one right here, it's 1 gigabyte 30. So as you can see, there is a bit of a difference, but the 1 gigabyte 30 ones, well, the not compressed ones, are the ones which work on our PS Vita. So what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description and we can actually grab a copy of the PSP ISO compressor. So just click on download. I've actually already got this downloaded so I'm just going to stop this right now and I will show you guys how to set it up. So go to your downloads folder and find your zip file. You want to right click it and you want to select extract to PSP ISO compressor. It's then just going to extract it into the file folder. Double click on this and then double click on the setup.exe. You can actually install this to your computer or you can install it onto a USB or anything you want to so just click on yes and then you guys just want to go through with the setup now I already have this installed but I'm just going to show you guys what to do so you just want to click next um, as you can see I've already got it so you guys can just go ahead and install it I'm just going to go with repair for this one I guess so just click on that repair and then I'm basically just going to be installing it. So there you go. Now you can click on finish once you guys have got it installed. And that is literally it. What you can do now is click on the search icon and just type in PSP ISO compressor. And you can actually find the app on your computer. So I'm just going to start this up. And basically what you guys want to do is locate your original ISO or CSO and you want to convert it. For this video, I want my Deadhead Fred ISO on my PS Vita. So I'm going to go with um, uncompressed CSO to ISO. Let me show you guys what I actually have happens if you try to convert it um, you know just normally so here with the um, Shovey software if you try and transfer a CSO um, using this um, let me show you what happens so let's just go and find the CSO let's just click on browse and as you can see the CSO will not even show up because we can't use it with ISOs this will work fine though so let me show you um, with an ISO what we want to do is go back to our original software we want to change our CSO into our ISO so it will work so what you want to do is just click on this three dots here then what you want to do is select your CSO folder or file and just click on open um, what it's going to do is just output it into this folder that is fine make sure it's on the best compression and then just click on uncompress and it's now going to uncompress our CSO CSO folder into the ISO. So it says it already exists. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes. It's going to overwrite this one, um, but basically it's going to uncompress it. So this might take a while. You get this like little uh, text box here and it shows you how long it's going to take. It has to get to 100%. So just wait for this and I will show you guys when it's done. Okay guys, so once it's done, what you want to do is just click on exit and it's actually replaced mine. So if I refresh it, this is basically a new file. It will also keep the original CSO, but that is pretty much how you convert your CSOs into ISOs or ISOs into CSOs. CSOs work perfectly on PSPs, I mean, you know, PSP goes, maybe on an emulator as well, the PPS SPP emulator, it works perfect on that. And yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you go about converting your PSP to ISOs. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.